when you're dealing with a hoarder, remember, I can't say stress enough that it truly is an emotional disorder and the stuff is the physical manifestation. So for somebody to go in and say we're going to change it, and I've seen this happen on the hoarder show where, you know, they've come in, um, they, they've brought in a psychologist, they've brought in an organizer, they've cleaned things up for the person, which was very, very difficult for them to do, <coughs> but they let them do it. They go back a year later, and they're back to square one because the person wasn't ready. You've got to work on the emotional aspect first to get the person ready. And sometimes that's hard to do. How do you change it? Baby steps. Baby steps. Every tiny step they take is a big step for them. Remember that. And sometimes their family members of hoarders don't realize that. To them, they don't see a change. But a hoarder will look at it and say, what do you mean? I did this, this, and this. So it really makes a difference to them. Microbursts of activity, when they feel the energy, let them do it. Encourage them to do it. But if they're not ready, they're not going to have that microburst of activity. They're not going to be ready to go. But pick a time of the day, too, when they seem to have their most energy and work with that. Focus on what they really want. Why are they doing it? Are they doing it because they have to do it to keep their family together? Are they doing it because it's just becoming too overwhelming? Are they doing it because they're tired of the isolation? But look and say, why are they really doing it? It's really important. Focus on the power of choice. We all have this power of choice inside of us. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the worst things we can do to someone take away the power of choice or let them feel that we are taking away the power of choice. More like the shoulds and have tos. Rather than the shoulds and the have tos, try to encourage that power of choice. What do you want to get rid of today or give a new life? What are you ready to move forward? You know, and lastly, reward them for small achievements. Let them know how much how far they've come. It may not look like much to you, but it is a big, big step to them.